Hi everyone. 2020 was a great year for NASA and for space exploration overall. It's been a very active time with many more mission activity this year than we've seen in a long time. Today we're going to look ahead at a few of the exciting missions planned for 2021, starting with the first Artemis flight, Artemis 1, which is scheduled to launch later this year using the Space Launch System rocket. The India Space Research Organization is planning to launch its third lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3. Hopefully this one will be successful. Finally, SpaceX will launch its second operational Crew Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station with four astronauts on board. SpaceX also has several Falcon 9 launches planned to deploy additional Starlink satellites planned for early 2021. We're going to discuss each of these missions in this video. Welcome to Reaching for the Moon, hosted by me, Ed Grace. For those of you that don't know me, I worked on the Apollo program for 10 years while at MIT, and I was a member of the Apollo 13 Mission Operations Team awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Artemis 1 will be the first flight for NASA's Artemis program, whose goal is to return astronauts to the moon by 2024, including as part of the crew, the first woman to walk on the moon. Artemis 1 will be the first integrated flight test of NASA's deep space exploration systems, the Orion spacecraft, Space Launch System rocket, and the newly upgraded exploration ground systems at Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Artemis 1 will consist of an uncrewed Orion spacecraft, which will be sent on a three-week flight around the moon using NASA's Space Launch System rocket late in 2021. Artemis 1 will follow a normal pattern to the moon, first orbiting around the Earth after launch, executing the needed burns and corrections to enter an orbit around the moon after several days of traveling. Artemis 1 will then remain in lunar orbit from 6 to 23 days, depending upon how the spacecraft is functioning. Finally, Artemis 1 will execute the burns necessary to leave lunar orbit and put it back on its path to return to Earth. During this journey, Artemis 1 will reach a maximum distance from Earth of 280,000 miles, the farthest in this space that any spacecraft that can transport humans will have ever flown. The India Space Research Organization is planning to launch its third lunar mission in the first half of 2021. It's going to be called Chandrayaan-3. Chandrayaan-2, which consisted of an orbiter, a lander, and a lunar rover, was launched on July 2019 and entered a lunar orbit successfully. However, the lunar lander and rover made a hard landing, actually a crash landing, with the lunar surface and no contact with Chandrayaan-2 orbiter was made after the landing. Chandrayaan-3 was announced a few months later. It will consist of only a lander and a rover as the previous mission's orbiter is still functioning and providing data. If all goes well, the Chandrayaan-3 rover will touch down in the lunar south pole's Aitken Basin and will hopefully communicate with Chandrayaan-2 orbiter. Aitken Basin is of particular interest as it's thought to host numerous deposits of subsurface water ice, a vital component for any future sustainable lunar habitation. SpaceX will launch its second operational Crew Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station with four astronauts on board and is presently scheduled for March 30th, 2021 launch. SpaceX also has several Falcon 9 launches planned for early 2021 to deploy additional Starlink Internet satellites. These launches will bring the Starlink Internet satellites in orbit to more than 1,000. The SpaceX Crew 2 mission Using a Falcon 9 rocket is set to launch in the spring of 2021 with a crew of four astronauts. The crew too will include NASA astronauts 
Shane Kimbrough, and Megan Mark MacArthur, who will serve as spacecraft commander and pilot respectively. JAXA astronaut Ikiko Hosai and European Space Agency astronaut Thomas Peskett. Hosai and Peskett will join Crew 2 as mission specialists. Megan MacArthur is married to astronaut Bob Bennon, who flew on SpaceX Demo 2 mission with Doug Hurley. Well, with that, we're going to close today's video. Next week, we're going to look and discuss Boeing Starliner spacecraft, which is scheduled to launch its first crew test flight with astronauts to the International Space Station using an Atlas V rocket in the summer of 2021. If you have any questions today, leave them in the comments section and I'm going to do my best to answer them. If you like today's video, give us a like. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to receive an email every time Reaching for the Moon posts a new video. Thank you for watching. I don't know if you watched Joe Biden's speech on COVID-19 yesterday, but he closed by using the phrase, failure is not an option. So until next time, remember always, failure is not an option. Bye.